What would you do if a fire or law enforcement officer knocked on your door telling you you needed to evacuate because of a chemical spill or a fire heading your way? Well, every year, over 3 million people are evacuated from their homes for a number of reasons. Fires, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes make up the majority of these evacuations. When emergencies strike, we get alerts on our phones, computers, and television. But what if you get a knock on the door in the middle of the night from your neighbor and he says there's a group of rioters making their way into the neighborhood? Or what happens when China decides to take back Taiwan? Just this week, FBI Director Ray testified before Congress and said this. The CCP's dangerous actions, China's multi-pronged assault on our national and economic security, make it the defining threat of our generation. PRC hackers are targeting our critical infrastructure, our water treatment plants, our electrical grid, our oil and natural gas pipelines, our transportation systems, and the risk that poses to every American requires our attention now. Is he talking about a group of military-aged Chinese men coming across our southern border? I'm excited to announce a five-part series designed for people who are new to the world of emergency preparedness, especially the very first video will give you the tools and knowledge to get ready for just about any eventuality that might come along. For the past 40 years, I've made prepping a lifestyle, not a hide in the bunker wearing camel kind of guy, but a mindful and purpose-driven lifestyle of learning essential skills and storing food, water, and other essentials for today and for the future. To understand what type of emergency could happen where you live, you should conduct a threat assessment so you can make informed decisions about how to prepare for specific situations. Chris from City Prepping has a great risk assessment matrix and video that he has on his YouTube channel, and I would highly recommend you checking it out. Author Joel Skousen has written a book, now in his fourth edition, called Strategic Relocation, a North American Guide to Safe Places. While the main focus of this book is relocation, you can extrapolate the information about where you live and apply it to your emergency plan. Another book I recommend is called Survive and Thrive, a practical guide for emergency preparedness by an army buddy of mine, Jim Mahan. He devotes an entire chapter on threat assessment. I have a link to these resources in the comments below. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss one minute of this exciting and informative series. In the first video, we'll be creating a basic survival kit, often called the 72 hour kit. This is the most basic of all survival kits, designed to keep you alive for three days. I will include free resources that you can download and use to create your own checklists. The second video is a continuation of the first, but we're going to focus on children, infants, and those with special requirements such as medical conditions. In the third video of the series, we're going to take the principles of the basic kit and expand that into what has often been called a go bag, a get out of dodge bag or a good bag a get home bag or a bug out bag. Regardless of the name, this is a portable kit designed to be carried for a longer distance than a bucket based kit. This kit will provide you with the things you need to get you to your location in one piece. The fourth video is gonna focus on sheltering in place. There are times when it's safer to stay where you're at in the event of an emergency. How will you secure your home? If you need to stay indoors, how will you cook without killing yourself? What is the sanitation plan if the sewer pipes all back up? These are just a few things we will cover and I will show you my plan. The final video will be my first live stream event, which you can interact with me and I will answer any questions you might have. I will discuss when it is time to leave your home and move to an alternate location. This location might be your hunting cabin or the home of a friend or a family member who's outside of the danger zone. While we won't cover what your bug out location might look like, We'll talk about how you're going to get there, the what ifs and contingency plans, and then the most important part of any plan is practice. Everything we've covered requires you to get off the couch and start doing something. If you've seen any of my other videos, my philosophy is simple. Learn, practice, and teach. Technology and conveniences in the 21st century have replaced the basic skills of life. Our ancestors didn't have these luxuries. The skills modern preppers and homesteaders are learning today came second nature 150 years ago. 
hunting, fishing, building things, growing food, making clothes, cooking from scratch, and a million other things that have become a lost art. I hope you will join me in the first video of this series, 72 Hours. This will be a great time to get a group together and have a watch party. My goal is to provide you with actionable skills that might just help save your life. Make sure you click on the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.